guys, what is going on? Mason here, back in HitFilm for Express. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between ed the editing mode and the, um, what's it called, the composite shot in HitFilm for Express. So let's first, let's just jump into the composite shot and I can talk about this first. So we can create new, it will take a second just to open up, and we can press start compositing, we can change these options, but I'm just going to leave them as they are. Start compositing. And it will take just a few seconds to load in. Now we can import some media. Um, you know what? What should I import? I'll in, I'll just import this. Then we can simply drag and drop that in. Um, I'm just going to, you know, we'll leave it like this for now. So now we have this our media. It's just so very simple. It's something that's hard to edit. Is the audio? It's harder to edit the audio in this part. We can obviously just go options and mute if we want to, but I'll just keep it like as it is. But now we can go into effects. As you can see, there are loads of effects, including 3D effects, like bonfire effect, which is pretty cool. Let me just drag that up there. As you can see, that's pretty sick. Um, we have uh, falling debris. Oh, let me just move that out of the way. We can't even see our falling debris. Yeah, meh, okay. Oh, here it is. Um, wait, so we have many other effects as um, well, and it looks pretty cool. Oh, there it is. There's our falling debris. It's just falling down nicely there. So that that's really the composite shot. We have many controls, hundreds of customizable controls. Simply let me look at the falling debris effect. As you can see, we can customize the dust. We can customize the actual debris itself and many, many other features. We have so much we can add simply in the edit in the composite shop we can add text all sorts of features and we can we can customize all the layers very simply and now let me go into the edit in, in the editor so i'll just quickly go back to our media and import our media again as you can see the style is very different and um here we go it's loaded in it we have an audio track and an audio a video track and an audio track. We can mute the audio and we can make the video invisible. And if we look here, we don't have as many controls. I don't actually know if we can add 3D effects. I'm not, no, wait, we might be able to, as a matter of fact. Yeah, we can still, oh, it makes it, puts it into a composite shot, see? So we can't, let me actually just, yeah, we can add this, so we can still add our effects and it still looks very pretty and we have all sorts of effects still the text option now there's no proper text option i don't believe we can add text or it's much more difficult i never actually used the editor um editing software editing in com in hip film for express so sorry if i seem like i don't know what's going on so we can add our text um, if we have the text option but there is no text option up here so i'm not too sure if we can add the text there's still many other options, but like, as you can see, the format is very different. If you're wanting to just edit a simple video, maybe cut down some clips, edit the audio, I do recommend maybe using the editor. If you're wanting to add in all sorts of visual effects, then I recommend the composite. So as you can see, we can't add in as many layers, so you can't add a point to track something, you can't track anything. So it does make it a lot harder in the editor. That's just a very simple little thingy I wanted to show you today, just to get a picture of whether you should use the composite or the editor. I recommend both depending on what you are working on at that time. So that really concludes this video for today. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, like, why not smash that like button? It really helps my channel grow. And like, you can even subscribe. I mean, it's free and do not no harm done, honestly. But that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then I'll see you in the next video. Um, goodbye.